everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. He's given us away. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Danilo starts with Alexandro as fullbacks. Weston McKenney starts alongside Adria Radio in the centre of the park. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. This is how the visitors will set up today. Rui Patricio begins in goal. And he didn't hesitate good thing too well he's so quick off his line that's great goalkeeping you have to say a danger here as he runs at them but timely defending when it mattered Zaniolo and he takes it on oh what a goal a tremendous strike Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. 1-0 then. Just the clearance that was called for. Dusan Vlahovic. Now Quadrado. Tammy Abraham. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Yes, it's going to plan and they might be able to carve out another chance. Weston McKenney. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. It's a short corner. McKenney, and no way through. Vlaovic, determined defending. Karsdorp. Abraham has eyes for goal. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Weston McKenney. Now Quadrado. And it's with McKenney. Possession given away, unfortunately. Rabio. Vlaovic. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Vlahovic ball with Danilo West it might be well flinging himself up the ball well can they draw level here the crowd certainly thinks so Bonucci and there goes the half-time whistle And so they begin the second half here in Turin. Big chance to get them on terms. 
And a decent save, full credit. Tammy Abraham. Couldn't grab hold of it. Did well to win the ball back. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So back underway at 3 1. Radio. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. All in all, a broken counter attack. Cristante in position. It could be... What a save! Oh, he's lost possession. A Juve free kick here. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. He's got the right idea with that pass. And fine goalkeeping. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Pellegrini. Here's Cristante. Takes the shot. And just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. Arkadiusz Milik. Danilo Milik McKenney You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on Well that was a decent effort and you just sense the goals coming here Into the final 20 minutes He read the situation defensively and did his job Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And options in the centre. And caught with ease, no real threat from the cross. Weston McKenney. It's with Milik. The high press was very much on. So the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down and secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Oh, hang on, display. Stuart, look at this! And a goal to put the final stuff on it! That will do it! Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Moise Keane. Will it be? Oh, a smart stop. Short corner it is. Rabiel. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, pressure building. Another corner. Elects to go short. Oh, this is looking promising. Well, defensive resilience in the end. That's all that matters. So two minutes of stoppage time here. Zaniolo. Opportunity. Still a chance. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as... The
a smile Now the sunshine brings the light Fill me out with a flame I will let you in this game has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Danilo starts with Alexandro as fullbacks. Adria Rabio starts alongside Weston McKenney in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. So a throw in here. He continues his run. And Quadrado feeds it in. And underway once more, it is advantage Juventus. Cup Mainers. The cross is on. Muriel! Well, what a stop that was. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, hey! So the 
the ball rolling again 2-0 Mario Pasalic. There's a slide draw pass. Oh, but just unable to unlock the defence. Able to get a body in the way. One block after another. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. Bad pass. Now, let's see what they can do here. It's got to be! And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Intercepting it intelligently. Cup Mainers. Muriel. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, there you have it. Juventus haven't had that much of the ball. But their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Firing it in. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Lukman. Muriel. Well, not too far away at all, but getting underneath it ever so slightly. Weston McKenney and a fine tackle has eyes for goal and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment well the game has been restarted 3-2 here a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in oh he's given it away and teammates around him Muriel the delivery towards the back post. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? It's a good-looking ball in behind. He's blocked it! And the whistle is sounded. That will be... And so they begin the second half here in Turin. Determined defending. Kostic. And the emphasis is on creativity. Rabio. And another goal for the Bianconeri. Big moment for Juventus in this game. So the current scoreline 4 2. Mario Pasalic. Locatelli with it. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, disappointing end to the move. Quadrado. Losing possession. It might be. And there but hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. And he read it well, intercepting it. Throw-ins given. Muriel. Could reduce the deficit. 
That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And they will make the change now. Cop Mainers couldn't quite finish. Well, if they can just get one, it will certainly make it interesting. Rabio. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. It should be nicely blocked. Short corner favoured. McKenney not covering up defensively. Counter attacking very much an option. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, a last ditch challenge, but there's always an element of risk about it, and we wonder what the referee is going to do next. Well, a yellow card is the decision. Difficult one for the referee, Stuart. Yeah, but like the referee, I would give him the benefit of the doubt. But it's a big call, mind you. Kostic. Vlaovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. McKenney. And he takes on the shots. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Plenty of support here. Well, it could be on for him here. Wonderful challenge, but the chance is still on. Ten minutes to go. Muriel. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it fizzled out. And now, passing it through. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. It's a substitution for Juventus. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Able to get a body in the way. And he was in the right place to intercept. Out of play for a Juventus throw-in. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Vraovic. Oh, he's through here. Strong hand on that one. An important interception. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team.
on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. This is the lineup for the home team. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Nemanja Matic starts alongside Brian Cristante in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Possession given away, unfortunately. Dybala. On to Abraham. Very quick thinking there. Well read to ease the pressure. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Gorgeous ball from Dybala, and a goal! 1-0 it is, they've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is, let's see what happens next. Luis Muriel. Just the challenge that was required. Dybala. Oh, a vital interception. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Dybala. Nemanja Matic has it. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mario Pasalic. This could be the equaliser. And still danger here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, they've given him too much space. Mario Pasalic. Opportunity here. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Muriel. Beautifully disguised ball. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And the whistle is sounded for... So, back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect.
Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Tammy Abraham. It might be. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Dybala. Terrific block. Oh, he's lost possession. Whatever way you look at that, it's been squandered. Delightful pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Muriel. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, not the pass he had in mind. as though he's alone in the centre well such a high degree of difficulty not quite in the end well how good was that it's such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal Boga oh big chance well a wasted opportunity it would have been a decent chance but offside the decision well they've decided to make a change an alert intervention well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession. Well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. And they will make the change now. Spinazzola. It did look on for them, but not to be. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Matic. And he read it well. And the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Cup Mainers. Sean Murodov. Nicely timed tackle. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Now the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. And the substitution will occur now. Brandon Soppy. On to Malinowski. Lukman Brandon Soppy It's with Toloi Lukman Soppy It is a decent looking attack here Can he put them in front? Oh the post denied him well, nothing untoward happened. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end.
is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying Well, what a game we have in store for you today The hype has been building up well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. anticipation playing it short and this is how Juventus will line up Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts Alexandro plays with Danilo in the fullback positions Philip Kostic oh, plays what a chance this is really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing favouring the short one Kenny on to Rabio. Can they forge ahead? They do, and you've got to say they're good value for the lead. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And coolly done in the end. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure. That... Surely, terrific piece of anticipation. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And there it is, a chance. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. Quadrado! High echelon goalkeeping there. And the short option preferred. McKenney. And fired against the crossbar. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. has been an utterly one-sided match. Losing possession here. It's been Azola. Now with Quadrado. Oh, he's given the ball away. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Oh, good vision. It all counts for naught. Zaniolo. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Cristante. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Rabio. Dusan Vlahovic. Now, Rabio. Can he play it in? A glorious chance. And still danger here. Well, they can keep possession now. Perfect challenge. Danilo. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. could really get at the opposition in position and a goal to increase their advantage to three can they be stopped
And they get the ball rolling in the second half. Juventus with the advantage. Vlaovic. Just the challenge that was required. Abraham. Zaniolo. Cross blocked. Krona conceded. It came off the defender. Still not clear. And the goalkeeper's touch. That was crucial. And another corner. Hot on the heels of the last one. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover up. Textbook defending inside the box. This might be ideal for the counter. Abraham. Well, as you can see, Juventus have dominated possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Yes, yeah, really going so well for them and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Quadrado. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Kenny, Quadrado, and a goal it is, but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Rick Karsdorp. Beautifully disguised ball. Zaniolo. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. But now it grinds to a halt because the flag has been raised. Kostic. And does well to keep it in play. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. Giving it a try. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Nicolo Zaniolo. On to Spinazzola, and unable to keep possession. And into the last 20 minutes. And in with a real chance. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. And he was in the right place to intercept. Vlaovic on to Paredes timely intervention it's there for him and they've bought themselves a bit of time Bonucci now with Rabio applying vigorous pressure Vlaovic it should be and the post denied him and he clears the danger. Being pressed and pressed high. Rick Karsdorp. Pellegrini. Really vital interception here. Locatelli. Vlahovic. And just five minutes remaining. And very deftly cut out. Pellegrini. Went in strongly, decisively. Decent effort there. Well, he has such good technique. He really did hit that well. He certainly came close there. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors.
And so the battle commences. Moise Keane. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny stands between the posts. Daniele Rugani plays alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Weston McKennie starts alongside Adria Rabio in central midfield. And up front, it's a man with a genuine nose for goal, Arkadiusz Milik. That is how to apply the pressure. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Muriel. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Keeper getting the touch. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Rafael Toloi. Brandon Soppi. How oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Martin Deron. He continues his run. But they took care of the situation defensively. Cop Mainers. Can't miss, surely. Brilliantly blocked. <laughs> Trying his luck from long range. Weston McKenney. Moyes Keane. Locatelli with it. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? And let's give credit to the defending. Milik. It's with Kopmainers. Mario Pasalic, not the pass he had in mind. Arkadiusz Milik. Martin Deron. Well, they've given him too much space. Can he take advantage? In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. So underway again here, one nil the score. Rugani, Moise Keane. It needs an accurate cross. This could be the equaliser, and it is the equaliser. Well, now that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Milik. Chance to take the lead. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Martin Deron. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It's with Deron. And attempting the through ball. Clears it away. Well, there you have it. Juventus haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Can they square the game? Terrific piece of anticipation. And there goes the whistle, bringing to... And so they begin the second half here in Turin.
Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Muriel! And he's done it! Parate again! A magnificent game unfolding! So the ball is running again at 2 all. Plenty of running room in the wide position. McKenney. Defensive excellence there. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Good work to regain possession. McKenney. Textbook defending inside the box. Si invitano i tifosi a rimanere al proprio posto al termine della partita e a seguire le indicazioni del personale attento per consentire un regolare diffuso. Mario Pasalic. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Vlahovic. Now Rabio. Great vision from Adrian Rabio. Well, it was close, but offside nonetheless. Well, it's a matter of inches there, but he just went a fraction too early. Mario Pasalic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Rabio. Oh, he's really opened them up here. But they're not being allowed to continue. It's offside. Well, he had the vision to pick out the pass, but he couldn't play it quite quickly enough. And they will make the change now. Useful looking ball. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Into the final 20 minutes. Vlaovic. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Mary Demiral. Hans Hattebor. Boga. Wonderful chance. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Mary Demiral. Cup Mainers. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. But the danger averted for now. Well, these fans are driving their team on here. But can Juventus find a winning goal? There's not long left now. Rafael Toloi. And so into the final five minutes. It's with Toloi. Brandon Soppi. On the ball, Mary Demiral. Hans Hattebor. Mary Demiral. In possession, Hattebor. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. There we have it. The 90 minutes are over.
everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. Stuart, your expectations? Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Brian Cristante starts alongside Nemanja Matic in the centre of midfield. And the opportunity! There it is! A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Back underway. 1-0 it is. Luis Muriel, dangerous ball. Well, they can keep possession now. Hans Hatterbor. Crossing possibilities. Can he get them level? And still a chance. And a time for cool heads. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Well, unlucky perhaps to be denied, but they've now got to think about defending. Untidy on the ball. Dybala Veloce Cop Mainers Muriel Could be Can they put it away And holding on to it at the second time of asking Dybala And it's a quality pass Oh, the penalty's been given, and it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. A chance to extend their lead. And a timely penalty save! Let's see about the delivery. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, great block. Luis Muriel. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, there to intercept. Chance to do damage. Giving the ball away. Chances on. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. And as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. The first half here comes to an end. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Hans Hatterbor. 
It's with Cup Mainers. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Abraham. And he read it well defensively. Well, Luis Muriel was influential in the first 45. Sum up his contribution for us. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. He's given it straight to the opposition. On the offensive. Tammy Abraham. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Rafael Toloi. Cup Mainers. Can they hit on the break? But really sticking to their task defensively. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, no surprise to see him go for goal. But a routine save in the end. Spinazzola Velossi and back for Dybala now they've lost it Muriel big chance to get them on terms oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger Tammy Abraham well great read there to intercept well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Abraham. Oh, he's lost possession. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. We won the score. Just the challenge that was required. Just 50. Oh, he's through here. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Well, the action underway once more. No shortage of entertainment. 3-2. Dybala and inches away didn't miss by very much at all not the pass he had in mind Brian Tristante it's there for him oh what a fine save and a timely one Stuart well that does give them some hope because that would have been the end well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Five minutes left. Cup Mainers. It's a good-looking ball in behind. And a touch of finesse. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out? And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball.
the gravity pulls you straight down. everyone tonight we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football the San Siro here on the city of Milan I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson my commentary partner I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A how do you see it panning out Stuart thanks Derek well often we talk about the tactics the individual players players that are missing but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question well they've lost possession of the ball 
Inter's lineup is as follows. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Pedro. Well, highly inventive, and it wasn't far away. Lukaku, tremendous ball played through, can he put it away? There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. So the ball rolling again, with the score line standing at 1-0. Yes. Milinkovic Savic, using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Felipe Anderson, Pedro, an alert piece of defending. Milinkovic Savic, oh, managing to beat him. He's got to score! What an important piece of defending. Chalanolu, Gozens. Lukaku, surely, superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And the short corner routine. Lukaku, Defray, superb block. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Alberto here's Milinkovic Savic perfect tackle Milinkovic Savic has eyes for goal and he's done it parity again a magnificent game unfolding so the ball is running again at one all throw-ins given Felipe Anderson loves to attack from the wide areas. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Could go ahead. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, we'll find out a lot about Inter's attitude in the aftermath of that concession. Anderson takes the shot. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, they fancy a short one. And it's with Pedro. Pretty simple for the keeper. Luis Alberto. Milinkovic Savic. And perhaps it'll be Pedro. And saved by the keeper. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the first 45 minutes have come. Well, back in business here, and Inter trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Zakanyi. Here's Milinkovic Savic. Oh, so close to extending the lead. Well, that really would have put them in a commanding position, but it's still all to play for here. Gorzens. Untidy on the ball. Felipe Anderson. Milinkovic Savic. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. And short it is. And now having a go. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. 
So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Just the challenge that was required. Felipe Anderson. And the ball's been given away by Lukaku. Delightful pass. Well, didn't seem to be in complete control of the ball. And a corner has been awarded. And there to intervene. Gozens. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Varela, body on the line. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. But then the one that goes astray. Cataldi. 20 minutes remaining. Well, they have the ball once more. Can he find the right pass? Martinez. On to Chalhanolu. Applying vigorous pressure. Manuel Lazzari. Here's Pedro. And back with Felipe Anderson. And a long way out. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. So a throw in for Inter here. Lukaku. Dumfries well possibilities in the centre it's there for him and the keeper getting across to stop it so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Dzeko disappointing pass can they get in behind them And so into the final five minutes. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Really good challenge. Pedro. Forced into the penalty area. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 great opportunity another goal the lead cross to... and there it is the full-time whistle here and it's a victory for the visitor
TV. All roads today lead to the San Siro here in Milan. It's the Derby della Madonnina, Milan against Inter. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary, as always on these special occasions, is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing in this one? Well, Derek, I have to say, this is... Oh, goodness gracious me! It's a special, special goal from Miles out! So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Chalhanolu and a chance to level it and it goes to square the game what a contest this is turning out to be so in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser 1-1 one, one. and the timing was perfect ball one an accurate cross giving the ball to the opposition that time Rafael Leao there's a slide draw pass well, it was a menacing attack but tidied up Leao Hernandez that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Eccentric goalkeeping. Well, after that mishap, the keeper can now exhale. Well, the hand goes up apologetically. That was a real lapse in concentration there. Possession one. Well, visionary passing. Barella, Romelu Lukaku now. Can he put them in front? Not too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Sandro Tonali. It's with Giroud. Top-class defending. <laughs> and Milan looking dangerous really vital interception here can he get them in front and a goal just like that they're back in front well Inter restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback the referee correctly decided to play advantage but it didn't end up being a significant advantage and so a free kick here Barella timely intervention well the fans are going mad here they think that was a penalty Diaz penalty in the opinion of the referee and this is seriously getting away from them well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes. Can they slot it home? Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it. Keeper not concentrating. Now, can they create something? Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Can he play it in? Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. Sandro Tonali. And he takes on the shot. Putting his body on the line. Blocked again. And the first half is in the history book. Well, back in business here, and work to do for Inter in the second half. Sandro Tonali. Now Giroud. 
and support available Leal not a very complicated catch for the keeper Dumfries and as they say in French Olivier Giroud has that savoir faire he knows what he's doing in this one Stuart well I thought he had a really effective first half not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Ben Asser. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Leal. And the ruling is offside here. Lukaku. Varela has it. Martinez. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Sandro Tonali now Giroud good tackle taken away Lukaku and Inter with acres of space out wide will they get themselves level here and a goal to square the game into the seat stuff well another equaliser what a topsy-turvy game this has been Very quick thinking there. Breaking at pace. Well, I think a winner's coming here, as do these Inter fans. They're making so much noise. Oh, hang now. on, Stuart. Big chance here. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Benassa. It's a promising Milan move. Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Excellent ball over the top. And there is the goal to make it a... Patrick! Excellence in finishing. There for all. Giroud. On nearing the end of the game, Stuart, Inter in complete control. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. And a fine tackle. the pass could do damage quite possibly a yellow card as their flow was stopped now that attack going up a dead end and the keeper has the ball well it was a foul but good use of advantage by the referee well great read there to intercept Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. So the final whistle and real disappointment for Milan and this.
What a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been... Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. Might it be Olivier Giroud? And a goal! It's a finish of real class! No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header! Felipe Anderson, determined defending. Teo Hernandez. Oh, a nice looking pass. away again here on the back of that leveller Benacer Picayo Tomori another eyeing that final pass you just feel well that takes the wind out of their sails great defending but on you go says the referee advantage Useful looking ball. Oh, it's mischievous. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Tremendous ball played through. A matter of keeping his composure. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, after losing a goal, the onus is chance the keeper unfortunately for him well I think that's a bad miss he just never looked convincing as he went through there Sandro Tonali they've lost it Anderson being egged on by the crowd well they might be onto something Brahim. A mischievous effort. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. Zakanyi. Able to skip past his man. And Milan have the ball once more. Olivier Giroud. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Underway again. And we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. A good and fair challenge. Diaz. Oh, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. So nearly at half-time. And the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, what a first half this has been. We've had everything. But unless they start defending with more urgency, they'll concede more goals here. They've just been too easy to play against. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Must be! And it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Oh, incredible save! And he snuffed out any sign of danger. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And slipped through beautifully. Oh, a fine block. And a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. 
And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Might take the lead. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, what an outstanding first half he had. He dictated the play and was a constant threat with his ability on the ball. Surely he's going to be marked a lot tighter in the second 45 minutes. Otherwise, he'll completely dominate the game. Tomori. Brahim. And showing fine vision. A really top-notch piece of defending. Felipe Anderson and fed forwards but it comes to nothing in the end offside well he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there just let the ball be played into the space Leao Hernandez will it be able to get his body in the way but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did and a goal kick is the outcome. Anderson. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Plenty of options. now out on the wing well, just the tackle that was needed 20 minutes to go well there it is the hosts haven't had that much of the ball but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas they've got forward with pace and with numbers it's been a great counter-attacking display Giroud now oh, doesn't get away with it free kick given And in the event, just for talking to, but could easily have seen yellow. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And with that, the attack fizzles out. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. And time for the change now. And this might mean job done. Goal! Taking aim from the spot and finding the target. What an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? And the right place to cut out the pass. And it's with Pedro. We've entered the final five minutes. Lazzari, opportunity it is. And couldn't keep himself onside. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Playing it in. Fruitful looking attack. Well, tremendous block. Really good high press. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stick.
to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Luis Alberto. Oh, great defending. The Inter starting lineup. Milan Striniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Luis Alberto. And he read it well, intercepting it. Intelligent threaded pass here. Not out of the woods yet. 
and read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off, but he was spot on with his challenge. Takes aim. Tremendous block. And a short corner, let's see. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, underway once again. Will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response? And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And taken short. Lukaku. Superb block. Luis Alberto. And on the ball, Patrick. Could be threatening. Lukaku. And a strong tackle. Lukaku. Now with Chalhanolu. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Zakanyi. And a chance to whip it in here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Outrageously skillful, but stout defending when it mattered. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Oh, but he's done brilliantly to cut it out. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. Has a go. Can they cover up? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And there we have it, the first half comes to it. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And it's with Pedro. Now with Milinkovic Savic. Must be! Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. And a time for cool heads. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And it's with Pedro. He'll take this on. A smart stop here. Well, opting for the short corner. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, Lautaro Martinez did look as though he was enjoying himself in the first half. What did you make of him? Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. The crossbar got in the way. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, you sense the goal's coming. They're getting so close now, they just need to take one of these chances. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. Martinez. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. 
Options in the middle. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Felipe Anderson. Good looking pass. Lazzari. Very quick thinking there. Le signorine Alice Nezzi e Silvia Ciotto sono desiderate alla biglietteria dello stadio. Well, you've got to savor such moments. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Try to lock the keeper. Not deciding to test the keeper, but no problems really. Well, no surprise there with the stats. Inter haven't done enough going forward. And unless they improve quickly, this is going to be a frustrating oh, day for opportunity them. here, Stuart. Failure to hold it there on Pedro's part. Well, that'll be a free kick. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Crossing opportunity. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Anderson. And just five minutes remaining. Lukaku. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And I must say that's very good refereeing going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion goalkeeper in charge of the situation I'm trying to build a head of steam another corner it'll be it's a short one and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end promising possession this corner given for the short one Lukaku and no way through and no more time left the full time whistle is blown and
feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the sky All because of you while Inter were born nine years after that. It is one of the great rivalries in European club football. Milan against Inter coming up from the San Siro. Derek Ray in the commentary position joined by Stuart Robson and Stuart, we always relish these duels. Absolutely. Here we are at the San Siro for the greatest of derbies. I love this game. Both clubs have such a wonderful history. Let's hope I'm not disappointed. Benasser. Now potential danger. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. He's got to have a go here. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. Lukaku. Martinez, can they forge ahead? A goal! Inter take the lead in the derby! And how much does it mean to them? Just listen! 1-0 there. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Brahim has got the right idea with that pass. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Important interception. Lukaku. And it's a quality pass. It Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. This looks threatening. Lukaku! What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Matteo Gabbia. Teo Hernandez. And taking it away. Dumfries. Threaded through by Lukaku. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Teo Hernandez. Benassa. Diaz. Sound piece of goalkeeping. 
Well, he'll be irked with himself, ran into an offside position. Well, there you can see Inter haven't been able to control the possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Ben Asser. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. And teammates around him. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Giroud. Is it going to be? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. Ben Asser. It's a promising Milan move. Oh, a nice looking pass. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, that... Well, back in business. Milan trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Martinez. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Ben Asa. Now Giroud. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Well, the keeper had to intervene under a bit of pressure there. Well, oh, he's through on goal here, Derek. Diaz. Really a very poor ball. Barella. And he has options available. Lukaku. And Milan did well to win the ball back. Sandro Tonali. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Lukaku. Varela. And here's Chalanoru. Brilliant save. They fancy a short one. Can he finish? And still danger here. An alert piece of defending. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Olivier Giroud. Benasser. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Breaking at pace. Oh, big chance. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And time for the change now. Teo Hernandez. Well, Milan are controlling the possession, as you can see, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Just 15 minutes remaining. And attempting the through ball. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Can he find the right pass? No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Ficayo Tomori. Benassa. 
They get forward, but time is very much against them here. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Chalanolu. And a fine tackle. Ray Beach. This could be the equaliser. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? All hands on deck. Could cross it in here. Barella. And he might be through here. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. And the keeper taking care of the situation. So the final whistle and real disappointment for Milan and their...
action for you live here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Perfect tackle. And here's how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benacer in central midfield. And up front, Rafael Leao starts alongside Olivier Giroud. And coolly done in the end. Benacer. Always worth keeping a close eye on Luis Alberto given his prowess. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Oh, surely! Well, going for power, and so close to finding the net. He'll take it away, he won the ball. Well, possibilities in the centre. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And it's with Pedro. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. It's still alive. Anderson. Big chance it is. Real defensive resilience. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Well, they have to have that sense of self-belief. It could happen for them. And no way through. Oh, it's a penalty. Can they get themselves in front? Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. This to open the scoring here. And he finds the net. No difficulties in counter. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Can they create something from here? He'll take this on. And they couldn't keep it. So a throw in here. Alberto. Well, the supporters think it's on. Body in the way. And very deftly cut out. Well, that's a well timed pass. Big opportunity. There it is. Two to the good now. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Teo Hernandez. Messias. Getting in there to intercept. Leal. And they could get one back here. And a goal! Not over just yet. And back underway, you really sense the momentum may well be with Milan now. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. Cataldi. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Junior Messias. Good pressure, can they make something of this? The first half here comes to an end.
Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Teammates available, but they took care of the situation defensively. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, he'd been warned before, and now he's been booked. And he's under big pressure now. He's going to have to tread really carefully here. And a fine tackle. It did look on for them, but not to be. And a brilliant first half showing from Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly, the difference between the two sides. Obviously, the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line. Oh, oh Stuart, they must score. Oh, football for this, and it's very best. You can't argue with that finish. Underway again with the score at 3 1. Tremendously strong in the tackle. 30 minutes left for play. Milinkovic Savic. And it's gone behind for the corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. An example of how to press. Could be a chance to break here. A real opening now. Tries to lift it. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. Milinkovic Savic. There to win it back. Marusic. Back to Anderson. Can't miss, surely. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Applying vigorous pressure. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Lots of goals, 5-1 it is. Anderson. Oh, Luis Alberto! And danger still. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag. Sandro Tonali. Diaz, will he find the net? And there it is, a goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. A terrific pass. Still could be dangerous. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, in with a chance! And just like that, the break has stopped. Really top quality defending. Five minutes to go. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, goalkeeper mistake. Will there be a price to pay? So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Diaz. Couldn't quite hang on. So there we have it. The referee blows for full time.
Hello from the northwestern part of Spain, Galicia with its strong Celtic roots. We're at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo, it's there for him. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central score. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. And back underway. 1 0 it is. And that pass could be troublesome. And the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Canales. Rodriguez. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, it certainly was a bold attempt. Good to see him try his luck with the chip. Well, it's a great attempt. Opts to lift it over the keeper. Just gets a little bit too much on it. And giving it away. Really good challenge. Iago Aspas. And an astute piece of defending. Borja Iglesias giving the ball to the opposition that time and a creative look about this will he find the net? he's blocked it that is how to put in a challenge he's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner determined defending A oh, terrific pass. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Still a chance. Can they keep it out? And in the end, no damage done. Nabil Fekir. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. a defender you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then well you can tell what the fans think of that decision they're certain it should have been a penalty he has teammates around him oh a goal and an own goal at that well not part of the script was it so back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And the pass not finding its target. Fekia. And this situation could be dangerous. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Oscar. Now can they make something happen? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. So the sound of the half time whistle. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. This could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how important could that be in the 
the grand scheme of things. Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Javi Galan. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Chance here. And they could... Oh, the penalty's been given. And it's not what they had in mind. It's falling apart for them. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. And that pass could be troublesome. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. And they need to get tighter. And he read it well defensively. Now can they counter clinically? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Oh, a vital interception. Well, as you can see, the hosts have really dictated the play. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, last line of defence, literally. He's given it straight to the opposition. Canales and players waiting in the centre and they could get one back here keeper did his job to begin with and the corner has been given Who's going to get on the end of it? It comes to nothing in the end. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Can he get one back? Easy save. Outdoing his opponent. Iago Aspas, in with a chance. Oh, that's a fine save. Canales. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Out of play and a Betis throw in forthcoming. Now he must favour the cross. Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Could pull one back here, but no! What a glorious opportunity squandered to get back into this. Well, that had to go in, didn't it? I just can't see them turning this around now. Well, there's the confirmation. That was nowhere near to crossing the line, was it? Well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Fekir, will he finish? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Playing it in, no keeper will mock, and there goes the final whistle, and the home fan...
kick off here. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Rodrigo plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. David Alaba. Aurelien Chouameni. He has time to play it over. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position only just. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And attempting the through ball. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Could be dangerous. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Iago Aspas. Vinicius Junior. Aurelien Chouameni. Real find themselves in a position of menace. And the pass over hit. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Renato Tapia. Slip short passing. Benzema. Useful looking ball. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Now the pressure being exerted. Now oh, they've given him too much space. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Benzema. And now, passing it through. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Modric. Look at Modric with the pass. Thiago Aspas. And stuffing out the danger. Modric. Vinicius Junior, and it's there for Karim Benzema. What a save! Fran Beltran, Frank Joservi now, and intercepts again. David Alaba. This is Kroos. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Really vital interception here. Iago Aspas. And he's made headway. Surely absolutely spot on with that challenge. It's a short corner. Referee's whistle then, bring him to it. Second half underway, with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing.
Can he make it count? Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Fran Beltran. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for oh, it. Oh, big moment here, Derek. And the goalkeeper under no pressure. Mendy. And now back with the keeper. Carvajal. The ball with Luka Modric. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. And taking it away. And players waiting in the centre. This attack looks highly promising. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Top-class defending. And just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Carvajal. Is this the moment? And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. A real opening now. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. He's in here. A lovely attempt. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, on they go again, and Real very much in control. Servi. Well, on you go, says the ref. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Carvajal being hounded. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. That's useful play. A glorious chance. Well, touched by a fellow team member on the way through. Harmless, however, Stuart. Well, he's offside, but the shot wasn't a good one anyway. It was a pretty poor effort. Rodrigo. Look at Modric. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Breaking at pace. But they took care of the situation defensively. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Dealt with easily by Courtois. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of them.
coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga it's Real Betis facing Real Madrid well thanks Derek the best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll get the space to show your ability I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today Vinicius Junior can he put it away and top notch as well as brave goalkeeping well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside David Alaba in central defence. Vinicius Jr. starts with Rodrigo out wide. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. Oh, tremendous goal! A long way out, but took it on. A memorable 
finish. Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Rodrigo well, showing excellent vision. And Modric could wreak havoc. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. And players waiting in the centre. Nicely timed tackle. Useful looking ball. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. It's a short one. Gives it a go. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. They favoured a short one here. Pizzella. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. So the game has been restarted. What sort of response will that elicit from Real Madrid? Borja Iglesias. Is it going to be... Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Firing is in. Putting his body on the line. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? Well, it looks highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. More defending for them to do here, though. He's got to score! Off the post and back in play. And a time for calm on the ball. Canales. And that'll be a Betis throw-in. Borja Iglesias oh that's a really good run going for the tink well when it's you against the goalkeeper I'm sorry you've got to do better now oh, doesn't get away with it free kick given Fekir body in the way well not the pass he had in mind Tremendous ball played through. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Not a good pass. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Well, no danger now. Well, there it is, half-time. Into the second half then, and Real doing the chasing. And room now out on the wing. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could be a chance to break here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball. Could be! Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now! And the lead fully merited! No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Cabajal. Benzema. Well, that wasn't a million miles away. Well, they're getting closer, but they need to take one of these chances. Borja Iglesias. Juan Me. Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Oh, 
and continues his run keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge and the counter looks on here options available well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Chouameni Rodrigo now will the cross work out for them well in fact a good but straightforward claim by the keeper Borja Iglesias and snuffing out the danger pressing high and they have the ball again Fekia And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can they hit on the break? But quick thinking defensively. Good technique display. Real chance. There's the goal. Surely now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Space afforded him. Oh, good work by the keeper. Applying vigorous pressure. Vinicius Junior, and doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. So a Real Madrid corner. Firing it in. Superb block. Course. Long range effort. Out of play in a Real Madrid throw in coming up. Aurelien Chouameni. He's given us away. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And he's in. And a fine stop. And there goes the final whistle and disappointment for Real.
de Balaidos. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me and we're focusing on technically speaking one of the best leagues in the world I'm talking of course about La Liga it's Celta Vigo up against Real Betis well thanks Derek the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Now what can they do from here? Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Joseph Aidu, just the challenge that was required. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened in with a chance oh offside how marginal was that but the flag is raised opportunity to deliver the cross well, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision Good pressure high up the pitch. Chance to finish. Oh, that's a fine save. Hugo Meyer and fed forwards. Can he get one back? He can. He's given his team a real opportunity. And momentum is with them. So uh, back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Regained possession. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, it's been a good game, but they've been second best in a couple of key areas. That needs to change in the second half, otherwise it's going to be a disappointing result for them. And out of play for what will be a Betis throw. Rodriguez. Betis losing possession. Well, he was under a bit of stress, but back to the keeper. 
Alex Moreno. On to Iglesias. He's got the right idea with that pass. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Going short. Pedzela. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Has a go. Able to get a body in the way. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. There it is. That will do it for the... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Fekir. William Carvalho. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And a goal it is. The keeper ready not part of the equation. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, a smart stop. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here. And it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. A spot on with that challenge. Servi. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Rodriguez happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition can he put it away and it goes a three goal cushion and you truly sense it's a matter of how many goals in plentiful supply 4-1 currently Fekia they've regained possession Well, these fans are starting to make their way to the exits here. The game is surely beyond them now. Can they convert? That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And a short corner here. And given away. This could pose problems for the defenders. Just couldn't capitalise there. Tremendous ball played through. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Fekir. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Oh, big opportunity! Sound piece of goalkeeping. 
High pressing at its best. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And teammates around him. Rodriguez. And a long way out here. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were...
I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo taking on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And that'll be a Celta ball. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Running with the ball confidently. But I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Oscar. Oh, they have it again. Course. Surely. And a goal. Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Now he must favour the cross. Iago Aspas. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Vinicius Jr. Mendy has it. Rudiger. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Will they get themselves level here? And a goal! Real excitement here! The equaliser! So back underway following the equaliser. Well, they keep the ball moving. Shot attempted. Superb block. And well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Fran Beltran. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Benzema. Making progress. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Rodrigo. Benzema. Here's Modric. Really vital interception here. Tremendous ball played through. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Benzema. And so the first half is now in the hit. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Jürgen Strand Larsen. And he was in the right place to intercept. 
Iago Aspas. Well, fair to say, a decent first half showing from Iago Aspas. How would you assess what he's done, Stuart? Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. And he's won the ball. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And saved by the keeper. Iago Aspas. He's got the right idea with that pass. He must finish. It's gone in. And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. So they're playing again. Can Real Madrid bounce back? Mendy. Vinicius. Big chance to get them on terms. Well. The goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Fran Beltran. Hugo Mayo. Oscar. Iago Aspas. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Tony Kors. Beautifully weighted ball. Mendy. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And into the last 20 minutes. Really inventive stuff from Real here. Well, not hard to read that pass. Los de del han su Servi. He's in behind. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. They're making high pressing work for them here. Really high class goalkeeping from Courtois. Short corner. And he takes on the shot. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Rodrigo. Now potential danger. And Celta regaining possession. Jürgen Strand Larsen. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Will he play it in? Iago Aspas! Offside, a tight one. Constitution time it is here. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Azar. This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. David Alaba. There will be one minute added on at the end. At this late stage, Real Madrid doing everything in their power to grab a winner. And the teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. And a struggle to get it away properly. No oh, keeper in control, and that is that, the 90 minutes.
next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Betis facing Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Surely, what a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Giving it a try. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Modric. Well, Betis have it back now. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And now it is there for him. So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Might be onto something. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Rodrigo. Here's Carvajal. David Alaba. Chouameni. The ball with Luka Modric. How can they create something? Well, they had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Juanmi. On to Iglesias. Wonderfully weighted pass. Now the attack fizzled out. Just the clearance that was needed. Tony Kors. Real Madrid get the throw in. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. And they could really get at the opposition. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. This has been a top-class display today. Just look how many chances they've created. And if they want to, they could score a hatful of goals here. Rodrigo. And winning it back. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, fine stop. Course. Superb block. Vinicius Jr. Determined defending. Karim Benzema. Here's Modric, and he got to it fairly easily. Canales, and it's with Rodriguez. A oh, wonderful bit of skill. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Corner kick forthcoming. But he's gone short with it. Committed challenge. Oh, no stopping him. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. A 
the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. He's given us away. Borja Iglesias. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, the goalkeeper dealt with it admirably. Carvajal being pressed and pressed high. A wonderful intervention. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Oh, he's through here. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Mendy. Benzema. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, we're into the final half hour. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it petered out. Vinicius. Showing a real will to win the ball. Can he put it away? Marvellous anticipation. Vinicius. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Now, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Substitution for Real Madrid. And into the last 20 minutes. Teammates available. Trying his luck from long range. An alert reaction to tip it over. So the corner played into the box. And the danger still on. Well, there to intercept. Vinicius Jr. Juan Mi on the ball. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. It's a weighted pass. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And a substitution in the offing. An effective challenge. A terrific pass. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Valverde, now with Benzema, Benzema seducing with his passing, and foiled only by the crossbar, well no damage done, well let's see what they have in store for them on the break, well she has called the play back and it will be a free kick, well the referee has taken note of his name and number, well I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul, and there it is, the final whistle, the home fan.
forward to this one as Sevilla begin the game. Oh, showing excellent vision. He's in behind the defence here. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. From a long way out. And that's a very good parry. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Alejandro Gomez starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to... What a chance this is, Derek. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. 1-0 then. Nicely timed tackle. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress, but timely defending when it mattered. Rafa Mir. Here's Marcos Acuna. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Can he keep his composure? And it's gone in, just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. 2-0 now, and back underway. And can they create something? That is really alert defending, just when the situation looked dangerous. Marcos Acuna. Torres using all his defensive acumen to cut it out and the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage and a play in a Real Sociedad throw in coming up well, rather than stop play immediately the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card spot on with that tackle Gomez and with that the attack fizzles out and he has options available can't miss surely and he's gone for power so close to finding the net Bryce Mendes and a tidy tackle. Torres. The high press was on, and the chance is on. And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Rafa Mir. Very quick thinking there. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But they dealt with the threat first. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Space on the flank. Can they convert? That will be all for the first half here. At... Oh, showing excellent vision. So back underway here into the second half. Real chance. And they bought themselves a bit of time. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. And it's 
is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. Can he find the right pass? Beautifully weighted ball. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Kubo. Silva. Well read to ease the pressure. Lamela. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Johan Jordan. Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Well, the goalkeeper knows it could have been much worse for him. Well, he can't believe his luck there, can he? How is that not a goal? This looks threatening. And a good take under duress there. Goodell. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. Mikel Marino. Kubo. Marino. He has time to play it over. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Lenormand. This will be a Real Sociedad throw. Well, the ball lost here. And Real Sociedad did well to win the ball back. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And the short option preferred. Goudel. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Just a matter of thumping it away. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And out for a throw-in, just misfiring with the pass. And offside, unfortunately. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. And foul it is then. Sevilla remain on the front foot in the closing moments. Still level it is. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Can they hit on the break? In with a chance! Oh, a moment of pure class! Unbridled joy for him and the supporters! Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Oh, in with a chance! It could be up for grabs. And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. The current scoreline, 4-2. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And the referee blows his whistle for full time.
of San Sebastian. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Sociedad taking on Valencia. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Hitting the opposition back, playing... The... In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal! Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Alexander Surlot and a strong tackle. Cavani. Thierry Correa. Now Samu Castillejo. And very deftly cut out. Edinson Cavani's in the vicinity. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Hugo Guillamon. And Valencia in a position of menace. He takes aim. And a body in the way. Yunus Musa. Wasn't far away, but above the crossbar. Silva. It's with Mikel Marino. Chance to run at them. But quick thinking defensively. Thierry Correa. Diakabi. On a pass that lacks quality.
Lino. It's with Gaia now. Guillamon. It's a good-looking ball in behind. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. 2-0 now and back on the way. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Real chance. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Bryce Mendes. And support available. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Alexander Surlot has got the right idea with that pass. Oh, a goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Can they forge ahead? And the goalkeeper will claim it. Cavani. Played into the box. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. It's a weighted pass. Not to be this time. Samu Castillejo. Edinson Cavani now. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, keeper dealt with it. An example of a goalkeeper. In Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Nicely timed tackle. Hugo Guillamon. Now Samu Castillejo. Cavani a chance to whip it in Castillejo he's blocked it well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart and fed forwards and what a close shave it was Hugo Guillamon. Promising move from Valencia. Mikel Marino. Fruitful looking attack. Just the challenge that was required. And into the last 30 minutes now. Yunus Musa. Can he find the net? Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Bryce Mendes. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. A good pressure high up the pitch. And that is how to beat your opponent. Marino. Nos comentan desde la oficina de objetos 
Thierry Correa. Now with Gabriel Paulista. Super tackle and they've won possession. Oh, this is looking promising. Real chance. Oh, he's blocked it. It's a short corner. Shot attempted. Can they slot it home? And the referee has given them a corner. And that's to go short. Oh, he's given the ball away. Hugo Guillamon. Diakabi. Gaia. Just ten minutes to go. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Lino. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. And a substitution in the offing. Miguel Marino there to take it away. Throwing for Real Sociedad here. Oh, well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Gabriel. Gaia. Now with Gabriel Paulista. And this situation could be dangerous. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than... Guillamon. Jack it up.
Hello and welcome to the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, built in the late 1950s and named after the former president of Sevilla. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Sevilla taking on Valencia. Useful looking ball, but how well he did to react in that manner. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Just had to look a bit lively given the pressure. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Alejandro Gomez starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Could be! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Mukhtar Dia Kabi starts alongside Gabriel Paulista in central defence. It must go in, surely! What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing! Drilled home with true conviction! Tremendous goal! So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Top-class defending. Gomez gives it a go and a goal! The quick one too and they turn this game on its head The back underway with the lead standing at 2-0 Castillejo Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Lamela. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And blocked for now. And the pass could do damage. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, visionary passing. Just needs to stay calm. Oh dear, oh dear. The goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Nemanja Gudel. Jesus Navas. And return to Lamela. The ball back with Valencia now. Well, that pass easy on the eye. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job! Possession one. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count. I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, what a totally dominant performance this has been so far. Their attacking play has been a joy to watch. They've passed it forward at the right time to switch. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Oh, great technique and accuracy. But the keeper able to turn it away. A stunning stop. Giving it a try. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Let's see about the delivery. Terrific piece of anticipation. And snuffing out the danger. Gomez. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, big opportunity. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Who can he pick out? Well, it still could be dangerous. And there's the whistle. The first half. Of... 
So back in business and Valencia's difficulties were there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rafa Mir, promising looking ball. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And the yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Samu Castillejo. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Castillejo. And they have possession again. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Gomez. Good technique displayed. No way through. Gaia. A fine block. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Able to skip past his man. And a very good challenge. And Valencia in a position of menace. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Rafa Mir. Lamela with it. Goudel. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh, great piece of individual skill. But a good piece of tidying up. 20 minutes to go. Yunus Musa. Great opportunity. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Excellent vision. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. And threading it forward. Can they slot it home? And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Cavani well the threat was very real marvellous defending the referees letting it go as they keep the ball this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity Lamela oh and it goes now he has his hat-trick a special moment for him it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now Keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Lino. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, striking the crossbar. You can't get much closer than that. Getting in there to intercept. Cavani. And that is going to be all for this game as the referee...
everyone. Welcome to San Sebastian, or Donostia, as it's called in Basque. We're at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Real Sociedad, and they take on Sevilla. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Yassine Bounou is the goalkeeper. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Alejandro Gomez starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Gomez. Marcos Acuna. And now Lamela. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Can they forge ahead? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And giving the ball away. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Oh, blocked it! Ayen Munoz. A possession lost, intercepted. and foiled only by the crossbar well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable and the keeper was finally able to claim it well what a great piece of goalkeeping firstly the save and then the recovery brilliant from him Lamela could be oh disappointing just when it looked like a surefire opener well that should have been the opener Derek I'm not sure how he's missed that Bryce Mendes. A creative look about this, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And a tidy challenge. Trying something slightly unconventional, but not close to scoring. David Silva. Korosabel. And the ball with Serlot. Silva being egged on by the crowd. Really good diving save. And taken short. And a bad pass it was. Takafusa Kubo. Good movement. Can he give them the lead? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Johan Jordan. Lamela. Giving it a try, and the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, there you have it, right on cue with the stats, and it tells you everything you need to know. They've been so poor in front of goal, and no wonder the manager's agitated. They should be comfortably ahead in this. Now he must favour the cross. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he put it away? Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And the referee's whistle indicates... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Chance to finish! A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? 
Who's going to get on the end of it? A real opening now. And thumped away. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Nemanja Gudel. Lamela. And take it away. Marino. Is this the moment? And it's in! The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Nicely timed tackle. Marino. Can he do it? Oh, he's blocked it! Well-timed tackle. to get tighter here this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity and he takes it away Gomez it's Torres now Lamela And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a chance to level it. Oh, fine stop. Alexander Surlot. On to Silva. Chances on. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Silva. Well, very effective play in possession. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. A chance to whip it in. And reading it absolutely superbly. Just ten minutes to go. Goodell. Sevilla chasing this game furiously. What can they produce? And that wasn't a million miles away. Almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. Well, not much time left now. And these supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. What an atmosphere. Can they create something from here? This looks promising. This could level it. And they bought themselves a bit of time. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. So, a level contest. 1-1. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. That is that after 90 minutes.
teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Yunus Musa might be able to get in behind the defence. Samuel Lino interception to snuff out the danger. Bryce Mendes. Timely intervention. Cavani. Samuel Lino. He read the situation defensively and did his job. The referee's letting it go. In with a chance. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No one. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Spot on with that tackle. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. It's there for him. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Yunus Musa. Went in strongly, decisively. Lino. Hugo Guillamon. Might be able to set up the chance. and give them hope that they can turn this round so back underway and who's to say Valencia can't find another goal happy to pass the ball but remaining patient can he put it away score Musa now Samu Castillejo giving the ball to the opposition that time Cavani Lino Can he convert? Oh, commanding goalkeeping Well, Real Sociedad haven't been able to dominate possession as those stats tell us but what they've done with it has been really good and they'll be happy with the way the game is Oh, the referee has given it Penalty it is well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow. And the penalty is converted. A goal is his. And now he can exhale. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Well, the half-time whistle has sounded. And that... So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway.
And he read it well, intercepting it. Alexander Surlot. And Real Sociedad will get the throw in. Oh, fancy footwork. Oh, a moment of pure class. Unbridled joy for him and the supporters. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Thirty minutes to go then. A real opening now. Cavani Samuel Lino perfect challenge opportunity it is and it's two for him today a masterful performance the defenders unable to stop him the ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match Alexander Surlot. Valencia recovering possession well. Into the final 20 minutes. Oh, breezing past him. Guillamon now with Gabriel Paulista teammates available well, it would have been a chance but the run was mistimed offside well the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control Stuart what have you made of this well the result has never really been in doubt has it they've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play I think they've looked an outstanding team today Duro. Can they convert? A oh, strong hand on the ball. Alexander Surlot. Terrific block. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Guillamon. Moving forward effectively. It's still alive. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. So the final whistle and a final outcome that Valencia fans...
has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension and welcome it's a perfect night for football here in southern spain at the ramon sanchez pituan stadium i'm derek ray getting ready to bring you all the action accompanied by my broadcasting partner stuart robson and the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football la liga it's sevilla taking on valencia Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how Sevilla will line up. Jesus Navas plays with Marcos Acuna in the wide defensive areas. Alejandro Gomez starts with Eric Lamela out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, here's the initial 11 for Valencia. Gabriel Paulista plays alongside Mukhtar Diakabi in central defence. And handed the task of playing up front today, Edinson Cavani. Jesus Navas will he find the net and putting his body on the line and flag raised offside well that was always going to be offside he just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer Mukhtar Diakabi Samuel Lino still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead Cavani 
A very timely interception. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area that... Oh, surely! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Rafa Mir. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And this is Navas. Oh, big opportunity! And denied by the post. Mukhtar Diakabi. Samuel Lino. And the pass could do damage. And the keeper completely untroubled. And he read it well. He has teammates around him. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Lamela. The possession game just not working properly today. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. He's just got to continue his run. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. So underway again here. 1-0 the score. Thierry Correa, Yunus Musa. Beautifully disguised ball. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Now that pass easy on the eye. Could be! Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Marcos Acuna. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. And the half-time whistle is sounded. One. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. assessment of the situation at the back opportunity here well the post getting in the way there well that's the end of that for now well that would certainly have put them in a great position but with only a one goal lead they're never going to be able to relax and just making the run a bit too early offside as a result can he put it away and they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Oh, he's got himself in hot water. And I think we were all wondering what the verdict would be. The answer, a yellow card, Stuart. Well, he's just about got away with that one. It's a good foul in the end. Excellent technique. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Good visualization and execution. Real chance. Nicely blocked. Throw in here for Valencia. And bizarrely, that's offside. Well, that's really sloppy. That was a great opportunity to keep the ball high up the pitch and work an opening. Rafa Mir. Lamela. And here's Navas. And you don't want to lose possession there. Superb stop. We're being pressed here. showing excellent vision there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating
Celtic. Well underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Castillejo. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Joan Jordan. And into the last 20 minutes. Take it away. Gomez. Chance here. Really important tackle. Safe pair of hands did his job. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score. And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Castillejo. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. A really top notch piece of defending. Ten minutes to go then. Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Can they now get the winner? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And over the touchline for what will be a Valencia throw. Gabriel. Musa. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, good vision. Can they slot it home? Well, I thought that was game over. It's a great save from the keeper, just to keep them in this. Gabriel. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. In the closing moments of the game, and Sevilla in search of what would be a winner. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of...